Welcome back to the, uh, what is this, seventh episode of uh, Scrubbing in Tarkov, and uh, I intended to have this raid in the previous episode, but I had a look at it after playing, and I realized the episode was already over an hour long, so I decided to just make a new episode. Um, now the thing is, I'm currently rendering my previous episode uh, that I just recorded. I'm not sure how that's going to affect the game, actually. So I might want to just do a scav run first, once again. <laughs> um, just to make sure that uh, I'm not going to have massive FPS issues or anything. Uh, I shouldn't. I have a 12-core CPU, so it should be good enough, I guess. Uh, but yeah, either way, I'm setting up here to also get the uh, dehydration task done. I got the water here. Which I'm gonna need after the dehydration process is over, most likely. Got the mayo, got the saliva to keep healing me while we're just lying down taking damage. And, um, yeah, all in all, hopefully we'll be fine doing that. But, as I say, let's, uh, oh, here we go, keep jumping into overall first. I just need to stop doing that, but hey, so far stats are pretty decent. 85% survival rate and kill death ratio 14. Let's hope we can keep this going. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's also hope I didn't jinx myself, though. Is that an MP133? Now I get that, but it doesn't matter. Um, well, I think, honestly... Let's try a serve. Let's try a serve. Uh, go in at the early morning one. Just, uh, see if we can't get some ammo or something out of it. I've been going interchange all the time, but now I don't really have any need to go interchange anymore. Except maybe to pick up uh, hot rods and such for the uh, holodilnik barter when that comes around. But I guess I could just buy that on the flea market anyway. But yeah, let's just uh, get to it. We actually have a decent backpack, so we got a good looting rig uh, here. So, yeah, well, as I said, let's get to it. Okay, so I've turned on the uh, FPS thingy here just to, ooh, just to see how it uh, does while we're rendering. I think I'm going to have to just turn off the render real quick, actually. Um, that didn't really improve the FPS. Is this just a menu FPS? Bloody hope so. Uh, everything's kind of loading slow. Uh, yikes, I hope I haven't screwed myself here. Yeah, but either way, I figured out why um, uh, why the in-game VoIP was deactivated. It was because I had plugged my microphone out and back in, and uh, that apparently disables it if you do that. So uh, I really hope this FPS isn't something we're going to be dealing with when uh, we're in-game. What the hell is this so low for? Just let me check something real quick. Uh, no, there really isn't anything except for Tarkov that's... Uh... Oh, there we go. Now it jumped up. So maybe I could have been rendering. No, I'm just gonna... We have 30 minutes. I'm just gonna lie down, turn the render back on and see if a difference happens. Uh, yeah, that certainly does affect the FPS, so I guess I'll render later, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad. Either way, uh, we're just looking to get some ammo. Yeah, no, the FPS is fine. It's, it's okay. It's not lagging. It was just in the menu, a loading screen. Definitely playable. I'm not really noticing any difference, so... The server's a bit FPS heavy or, uh, well, low FPS map anyway. Nah, this, this absolutely works. I don't know if you feel like it looks choppy or anything, but I'm not really noticing anything, so... I'm just going to go ahead and say it's fine. What's up, son? Hmm. Kind of a weird scab. By the way, I guess we can expect to get shot in the face by someone. It's pretty early in the raid still. What's our extracts? So we got heating pie. Oh, I do actually need these for the holodilnik trade, so I will grab that and actually be quite happy about it. 
Uh, this one could be good to have. Hey, an Alu Splint. Very nice. I've been uh, hoping to find one of these soon, and here we are, so... If I can just get out with that and use it on my uh, PMC, then I'm happy with that. Obviously, we're gonna try to get some more stuff than just that, but anyway. Hey, that's uh, well, you need it for the task, but for now, I'll just um, kind of sell it to get closer to the uh, scav jump box, which we're over halfway to getting to, so that's nice. And the FPS is affected for sure by this but oh well yo what's up what's up what's up uh, is that just a regular scab hey boy how you doing I mean, I, I know the basic layout of this map and everything, I just don't know every loot spot or everything. I'm, I'm not doing the server runs, it's just not my thing. I mean, I'm not trying to say that, oh, you're an idiot for going to serve and, and doing that. Not at all. It's just really not what I want out of the game. And so, you know, people are different, got different playstyles, and there's different maps to suit uh, all these different ways you want to do it. Which is great. But it's not too bad, and I think when we go in our woods, it's not really going to be an issue, so... I'm kind of heading the wrong way, aren't I? I should go for the... let's see... Checkpoint fence. Is that her? Alright, so I can't extract her then. Just trying to see if I can find some of these tank shells. Yeah, I'm gonna need a few of those. Well, not really. It's not a task you necessarily need to complete, but I like to just do it if I can anyway. I'll take an SSD. I'll take a diary. Got some dollars on this. Uh, 
right. Uh, PS, no, not gonna bother with that. Right, we're pretty much here to pick up some ammo, so, um... Let's see, we... Heating pie... Hmm... Now I'm gonna check... The, what the fuck is this noise? Right, I'll render it later. Yeah, the game does feel a bit smoother now for sure. So I guess I'll render when I'm done with uh, with the game for the day. Gotta keep draining stamina when I'm just walking. I might have heard someone uh, kind of turn somewhere. P.S. It's like, I'm not even gonna bother with that. Have they nerfed? I think they nerfed the uh, ammo spawns in this map at some point. I'm trying to get my hands on some BT or something. I guess someone's already been here. Huh? Well, might be better than just the base stock. Ah, uh, fuck that actually. I mean, sure. I'll take that, it's a scope, if nothing else, a prism. Ammo, no thanks. Kind of like the looks of these mags, so I'll just take it. Hey, that's good ammo. I'll take that hammer sight. Fuck yeah. Let's unload this. US, that's trash. Taking Emily, we need that for like a uh, peacekeeping mission task or something. That looks like something I want. Let's drink this. I think the vodka bottles for something we need as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we got some fights going on. I'm just gonna get off the roof and start checking the various rooms in here. PS, uh. Splats, I don't know. Might as well pick up some bandages as well. You can buy splints, can't buy those bandages yet.
I mean, it is just a mag after all. It's not really going to improve the gun performance in any radical way. It does look pretty cool though. M62, that's pretty decent. We get a little bit more of that kind of ammo, we can probably take out a whip. I can just buy it off fence, kind of broke, and stick a silencer on it. As I did find a silencer for it. I really don't know exactly what to expect various types of loot to be on this map. Certainly not in the toilet. Typically, don't go here more than necessary. I prefer, um, you know, open nature like woods or something. BP, that's good. Um, let's go to battery cell. Let's go to S march. I don't care if I get shot, I'll just take the hit and die. Oh, it's just 545 BP, but still, it's, it's a decent find. We don't have access to a damn thing better than PS from the traders. Diary, we'll take that for sure. Guess if we get hit, we just bleed to death. That's fine. Some good dollars in the diary. I feel like I'm hearing so. I feel like I've heard someone all this time in, in this building somewhere, but I... I'll just loot this building and then get out. That should be fine. I mean, we're picking up some of the decent stuff here. I don't need to push my luck. I mean, I can upgrade the loot, but generally I really need everything, so... I don't feel like I need to upgrade any more than what I already have, if I'm honest. Why is this not one you can open? It seems highly openable. Well, I do need that. Just gonna stand on the window and sacrifice my life potentially for it. I will take that as well. Absolutely. I think I already have a screwdriver I need, so I don't need to bring that one with me. That ah, screw the horse is still a dime a dozen. I'll take this hot rod. So I do need it for the whole Dilnik trade. P.S. No thanks. Hawk. That's a good find. Uh, I guess we'll drop the wrench. Take this. And what? Okay. Well, we'll take this instead. Certainly enough toilets in this building. G phone. Hmm. Probably worth more than splats. T plug, yeah. Now I check this floor, right? I mean, I'm just gonna swing by the basement real quick and then I'm heading out. Um, I mean, that could be decent to have, actually. I don't really care that much for that thing. Well, 
rounded pliers. I need one more elite pliers so I can do the uh, the shotgun trade. Yeah, nothing fancy. I don't want to go too far down this rabbit hole here. I think I might need those actually. No, let's just screw the round of pliers. I'll take these. Nah. Wait, what? Why did I... I have clicked it. There we go. Okay, I'll check a little bit further and then I'll go back. It's P7. That's not sell for a bit, but I don't really bother with it though. Whatever. In fact, I'm not sure it even improved that much, to be honest. Uh, you know what the fuck running after? I don't care. I'm gonna do someone a solid. Hope I don't get shot in the face for it. Well, this all would have been looting or some marking or measuring tape on the ground. Well, I could pick up that. It's a little bit... Is it worth it checking a second time? It's just a little few rubles. I guess I shouldn't be doing that. I find it generally in online gaming. Don't help your teammates out. Don't do anyone a solid. It's just gonna bite you in the ass. 99% of the time. So at least in the games that I'm playing. About 90% maybe. Which is mainly Tarkov and World of Tanks. And World of Tanks definitely... Oh wow, that's loud as hell. Uh, World of Tanks definitely never help your teammates out. Because they will leave you to die. And use you as a scapegoat to get away alive. And uh, that's that's what you helping them is going to result in. Anyway, we got some ammo out of this and some other stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what's in this actually. I can't tell just from looking at it when it's uh, PS ammo. Plus they've changed a lot of the ammo models, so I really don't know. That's just PS, but whatever. I mean, it's a 35 rounder, and it's not too shabby. We got an Osprey, Hammer Sight, this thing, and a Prism, this thing. So, you know, we got some decent stuff out of this. Got this ammo as well, M62, BP, M856A1. This, which is going to come in handy for a uh, task later on. Yeah, generally pretty decent, so... Well, I guess uh, let's just set up and get going for that woods raid. Alright, so here we are, and uh, this time I'm going to remember to click main menu. Instead of uh, the other options. We're really going in pretty heavily weighed down already with all this water and stuff. But basically what we're going to do is try to just uh, get three scavs killed without any armor on woods and uh, also get the dehydration task with Jaeger done. And midnight sounds like a good time to do this. Less players, I'm hoping. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have just an easy time, breeze through, kill some scavs and uh, get the two tasks done. Maybe if we're lucky, find us a lever or a syringe. I haven't found either of those things yet, so... Due to that, uh, well, we need three slavers. But if I find a syringe, I can craft slavers. Uh, I can make the med thing in, in the hideout. Um, but yeah, we're kind of not passing, uh, going past the first therapist task until we can find three slavers or a syringe. 
mainly I'm hoping for a syringe that would just make things easier. But either way, let's get to it. Alright, here we are. So, I'm hoping... Well, it doesn't really matter what kind of spawn I get. We're just in here to get some loot, get some scavs, and get dehydrated. That's the whole thing we're doing. Here. Oh, Stam doesn't regen when you couch anymore. Right. That's actually magnificently annoying. Kinda of taking it a bit slow here. You never know. Gonna check this though. Hope I don't get shot in the face while lying here. I mean. Okay, well, I mean, it doesn't look like any guys are coming this way, so I'm just gonna go uh, head the other way here now. I'm mean, finding that pack, uh, I might drop my other arm on just wear the pack, to be honest, because I'll get it back on insurance. And then I can loot more stuff, because uh, the pack weighs significantly less than whatever the hell the other thing is called. And we don't really need class 4 armor on this thing, or on this raid anyway, I think. Well, I mean, we might, but probably if we run into a player, we're gonna have good enough ammo to go through my class 4 on this map anyway. Because people like to go kind of like beefy DMR type uh, calibers a lot, though. I just went down there to make sure we wasn't going to get rushed from that position. And it's going to be night all night, baby. So, like, this, the darkness isn't going to go away. So, I think I can just drop my armor in here and it should be fine. No one should really be seeing it. There we go. Some insurance board. And now we weigh significantly less and can pick up some loot. And we also still have marginal protection against scav rounds. Well, at least buckshot, I guess. I'm gonna cry a little if I get killed by a guy that has like M855 to like two tap to the thorax now, but <laughs> we'll see.
Right, typically some scavs in this area, so we're gonna swing by here and see if we can't uh, maybe find one and shoot them. Might be too soon. Might not be though. Three scavs. If we just go through the village, etc., I'm sure we should be able to find some scavs. Although I really don't like fighting scavs in the village. Because uh, you can't see them in the thick grass, and uh, the, the scavs, they just completely ignore the grass and just see you anyway. So it can be a bit tough. Might be able to pick up some decent loot over here. It's a stash and a weapon box here, I believe, so I'm going to check them. The reason I'm just picking up items and throwing them away is to get a little bit of extra loot experience. Which will hopefully be, well it will definitely be getting me to the flea market somewhat quicker. Ah, that's my favorite laser slash flashlight, so pretty happy to find that. Actually so happy I might even put it up my butt, but nah. Ah, you know, I'll put it up my butt. Eat a little bit, I guess, get the metabolism up and whatnot. There we go, level five, so. Just gonna sprint over to the next building. Pretty clear. Alright, well, we 
we probably have all the tea plugs we need for that task now at least. Not like it's uh, that important, but Okay, but like I'll put on the modifications when I can actually unlock them reliably. It's just, I can't be bothered with all these rail attachments and blah blah blah. I generally don't bother with them. It's just a hassle, honestly. I think we need more strikes, so I'll take that. That can be decent if I go with a uh, OPSKS. I feel like I'm missing a box up there now. Uh, maybe not. Either way, whatever. Did I check this one? I did, yeah. Okay, so I'm hoping there will be some scavs in the village. I'm not sure if it still shows in red the bridge uh, vehicle extract if it has been used. But that might be something to look into, like just loot through the village. Try to get some scavs and if we can't just kind of get out and uh, rinse and repeat, get out with the loot that we have. Because I mean, gonna need to get these uh, T tea, tea plugs at some point, so might as well make that point in time now. Other than that, nothing too magnificent here. Alright, we got that dehydration thing as well. So I should be doing that. Alright, so let's kind of scout out the area ahead here. See if I can see any scavs. We need three. Yeah, I can't see a fucking thing. I think we could loot out the village here, and then just hide in an attic and be dehydrated for five minutes. I've done that in the past. One time, I went around the corner over there like, okay, this is a nice corner to go around and just dehydrate. And just as I lay down on the ground, like, I'm gonna dehydrate now, I lay down on a mine, and a sniper started shooting on me. So, that kind of sucked. <laughs> God, absolutely, I couldn't get out of there before the sniper just wrecked me. Well, you know, you live and you learn. And in Tarkov, you also die and you learn. I think I could slap a flashlight on this thing, maybe I should. I'll take some tea. Probably just a scav. Because he did the sliding thing, it's typical for scavs. Just gonna definitely a scav. Good, we'll kill him. Off the pack gun. 
I'm gonna find and kill this guy. Bloody lag, man. Not sure if that was the guy. Might have been. Felt like I heard talking coming from a different angle, but the audio is just... Suddenly people that are 200 meters away whispering sound like they're screaming in your ear, like... From, t from two centimeters away, it's just... Audio's a bit buggy, basically. This might have been hit up already. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it has, honestly, so... Well, let's see. There can be some pretty decent spawns in this room. Gold chains and such. PSU? Uh, well, I kind of don't need it right now. Now I 100% have enough of these T-plugs. I think it's just four you need, and I already have one in the inventory. Or in the stash, I guess. Well, there's for sure another scav in the area, another PSU, UV lamp, I don't care so much. What is this? Examine... Oh, a CPU, okay. Well, some stuff in this. Ah, screw these emergency water rations. Don't really need them. I think I need this seed, I'm not gonna drag it around. Mustache, that's worth a bit. I already have one Ceno, you need one or two of those. I'm not sure. And I'll pick it up for just some experience, I guess. Condensed milk, that's uh, got some value to it. I think I'll drop these. Take that, and I need a hot rod for the whole Dilnik trade, so I'll grab that as well. And just real quick, let's just throw away trash that I don't need. Um, well, I guess I can drink this. Um, well, I don't need that AI too, really. I don't need that. And... Well... I kind of want all this stuff, to be honest. Most of it, anyway. We're gonna keep looting here and see if we can't locate the other uh, scavs. Gonna drop my packer. Sound like it came from the right over here. That maniacal laughing. Suka, yeah. You said it. Fuck did he go? <laughs> I can't make out what the fuck he is. Alright, fuck it, I'm going on. What the Okay, that's that task done. I'm gonna go pick up the pack again. Did I drop the mag? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna reload, pack the mags.
Alright, well, that's good. For sure one more scav in the area, though. Just gonna quickly loot these guys. Oh, an alpha rig. That's extremely nice, actually. I'll just move shit over here. Allows us to loot a bit more. The other guy, I shot him here. OPSKS, oh, see, I can work with that. Picking up scab weapons can be good. Oh, I did forget about the other guy's weapon. I mean, it's good for experience. Yeah, obviously, PS. Uh, I mean, Titan, the Alpha is better, so. Where did I get this guy's gun? Did he not have it? Oh no, the other guy picked it up. Okay, right. That's why I had two guns on him. Well, I guess I'll grab that. There's an Astamut. That's, uh, is that not better than an Alpha in many ways? Not the same exact number, so whatever. I'll just keep the Alpha. min maxing some experience to some degree here while we're at it. Just gonna go up in the attic in this building, I think. And do the dehydration thing. Sure, let's get looted. Uh, pliers might be better than... I think we need screws more though for the hideout. Could go chase down that last scav, I guess, but I'm just not gonna bother with it. Okay, we got Aquamari and shit, so after we are done dehydrating, there's a lot of stuff to rehydrate with, though. Which is pretty nice. Alright, well, uh, I guess here goes. Let's get dehydrated. I guess I need to time this. Let's see, now it's... Okay, I got the timer in front of me, and uh, unless someone tries to rush me or something, I'll just edit you to uh, when I'm actually done here. I'm not dehydrated yet, though, am I? Am I? Uh, this, this task is a bit dodgy, like... while suffering from complete dehydration. Am I completely dehydrated now? Is that not a separate debuff? Wait, I need to kill scavs when under the effect of pain. I could go... Oh, I should have dehydrated before taking on these scavs. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. I'll do it some other time. Oh, you know what? I'll go and shoot that fucker. There we go. Complete dehydration. Ah, should have done that previously. Can I see shit now though, but it's only a scav, so Just in case, worst case scenario, I can afford to pop the damn painkiller right now. I hope that doesn't negate the, uh... I if there's any other. There's another Asimut. We get some experience from that. Nice 
Let's probably see if we can upgrade our loot somewhat. Kavas is pretty decent, I guess. I'll take some squash. Damn it, I really should have dehydrated when going into this village. Let's see. Uh, complete dehydration. Yes, we are there. Um, probably want to reload my gun. Damn it, I didn't I didn't think it through there. I just we could have been done with even more stuff right now. No, I'm just gonna I'll drop this water, make sure we pick up some other water. And uh Let's see, let's do it like this. I can just move on and uh, while dehydrated, see if I can't find another another scab. I'll pop another painkiller, just so we can see. Gonna have to heal a little bit as we move around here. And the vehicle looks like has been taken it. I'm wondering, can scavs take it? Yeah. Walking around healing like this certainly isn't a good idea, really, but... Fuck it, I want to get over to this uh, village here. Maybe kill a scav while I'm still under the dehydration effect. Or to the next compound over. And then just go back here after. Or keep going, really. Depends. The vehicle looks like could be gone when I'm back here, so... What the fuck? Is he just bait? Just when I get shot in the face. Level 39. What the fuck's this guy up to? Okay, well, I had a dehydration done. I just need to extract the live. I know, let's not fuck around with this. I'll just, I'll go and take the vehicle extract. Got my first PMC kill. Gotta fucking rehydrate so I can regen stamina properly. Yeah, screw it. I mean, we got two tasks done. Actually, three if you count one of the dailies. It's got peace and stuff. What the hell? It's just crazy stuff. He just stuck stuff up his butt or something? Like, what the hell was he doing? Level 39, wandering around without a gun or anything. Well, at least, um, at least the first PMC kill. <laughs> that was uh, a weird one, though.
Well, at some point, I'll just, uh, whenever I get another Devil Dog Mayo, I think I'll just go in and uh, locate two scavs, eat that, shoot them, drink up, move on. 3,300 experience, not too shabby. Bing Gwen Gwen, 21. Hmm. Well, in a way, I think we ramped up our KD ratio to 19 to 1, so... Looking pretty crisp. Takes dying one more time and that just goes to half, so... <laughs> Either way, um... Yeah, I mean, not too shabby, I guess. We had 18 hits in total. Looting experience 1.1k. All in all, decent. Get some progression going, and then we can turn in some of these tasks. And, of course, getting a first PMC kill doesn't hurt either. I just... I really would like to... I think I'm just going to ask that guy what the fuck he was doing, though. Bing Dwen Dwen 21. I'm just going to message this guy. How do I message? Oh, please accept the friend request. Okay, we got some insurance to turn, so... Nice. Not too shabby. I think this is from, uh, from Customs. So, they took my gun, unfortunately. Uh, but we did get the packer back, so... That's that, at least. And now we have yet another packer. I mean... Kind of past using packers though, I mean we have class 4 and such, I might just sell these class 2 almost. But this, although it's kind of a busted up gun, I kind of want to keep this. Because I really like SKSs, OP SKSs, and you stick 35 on, and uh, like a 35 random mag that we found on, and um, yeah, some other stuff, then uh, it can be quite enjoyable. I'm just gonna dump this off, I'll sort it out later, uh, same for all this stuff. I think I'll drop this and just keep a slaver with me instead. It's better than two... Two cheeses. Wait, was it exactly 10,000? Did I use all my money? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Let's see. Let's turn in the task, sir. We have the one with Prepo, I believe. Which is, uh... Not this one. Nope, not Prepo. Jaeger. Alright, we got two Jaeger tasks done, and we got one out of three here, which we could have had this done too, but I'm an idiot, so I didn't think about it. But, oh well. We'll complete this. We'll complete that. And we need to finish this to unlock the next tasks with Jaeger. That's fine. And also there was a daily task we had with someone. Wait, did, oh, it needs to be on Factory. Okay, well, I'm just not really that keen on going in on Factory, to be honest. That's why I started playing the game, and it was one hell of a hellhole, I'll tell you that much. And I said, it still is, I think. I mean, it's not like I can't deal with Factory, but it's just a bit of a hellhole. Uh, but either way, I think we're going to end this episode here, as it was kind of a little bit of a long raid. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you left a like on it, maybe even subscribed if you haven't already and want to see some more of my content in the future. And, uh, well... Yeah, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.